I thought the, the, the group that played in the second half played with the kind of focus you need to win in a row. We didn't have it in the first half. So uh, I don't know what it was, whether it was lack of effort or lack of focus, but we had it in the second half. That was encouraging. I thought Trinity, um, the team that was out there, Trinity, uh, Rakeem, John Breed, and Steve Priestley, Ryan Rossler played with the effort that we needed to win. The, the other group did not. So uh, then you, you're in a hole, you're down 16 to 17. You battle back, and then you can't get over the hump. And that's what it was. Came down 19 with no Clarence. How were you guys able to kind of fight your way back in on this thing? Um, just aggressive play. Uh, we all was on the same page. Like Coach Bonnegaro said, the five that was out there came out there and played with a lot of intensity. Can you just talk about how, how this team is to play against kind of physical and always going to be kind of a foul fest type of game? Yeah, you know, they definitely try to slow you down, get in the half court, and um, really just try to, you know, mug you defensively. And, uh, you know, the first half, we allowed them to do it to us, and, you know, we got out of sorts. Second half, you know, we just we took it to them, and we were the aggressor, but you can't put yourself in a hole in 19 and expect to win at this level. How concerned are you about Clarence's health right now? Uh, um, I mean, obviously, it's a big concern. He's one of our best players, and uh, he just went down with injury. So, hopefully, this one isn't as bad, or maybe just tweaked it. Uh, Bacon was a real handful for you guys, and you've had a lot of battles with him before. Can you just talk about what what he contributed for uh, tonight? Um, tonight? I mean, he's, he's he's a tough cover. You know, he's very active, uh, good good rebounder. I think he uh, he really gets up when he plays us. I think if you, if you look at his numbers over the years, they're always better than his averages against us. He's uh, he's tough, and you know, give him credit. How were you guys able to get back in the game? Cut it to three seventy to sixty seven. Um, you know, we we don't get down on each other. Obviously, down 16, 18, 19 is isn't a good position, but. You know, every huddle, every every meeting we have on the court with the five that are out there, everything's positive, everything's what we can do better. It's never, you have to start doing this, stop doing that, and give me the ball. It's always positive things, and you know, we stick together so much that you know, we, we have faith in each other, and it just works. Any other questions for the student athletes? I think you'd get it to five. I think uh, Rakeem and then Leon hit that shot, and uh, they gave, he, he got you to foul him, or did you? What, what happened on that play? You think? Yeah. Um, I just uh, put my hands up uh, behind him. I might have, I might have leaned my hands a little towards and hit the ball, hit his hand a little bit. But I mean, I mean, it was a, it was a big shot. I mean, I, I shouldn't have fouled him, but I mean, it happened. I think you came over the screen on that play. So yeah. okay. Anything else for the player? Okay. Thanks, guys. You can Thanks, go up. Go ahead. Any questions for Mitch? Tell you any more Clarence yet? Uh, no, nah, he Clarence. looks pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, he could hardly put any weight on. I, mean, I don't know. I, I, he's really limping. So I, I don't know. It's his other ankle, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's his other ankle. Is I don't know. I couldn't tell him. We'll have to wait and see when he gets back. I mean, what are your feelings after watching him work so hard, so long to get back from the other one? Uh, it's discouraging. I mean, it's really. I, I feel bad for him. I mean, I. He, been through so much in the last uh, you know month with his ankle. I mean, now to have the other one get injured, you know, he couldn't worse for any, he couldn't ask for anything worse. Does the second half comeback give you some confidence that even if he's out of a long period of time, you can press on and fight with the group of guys? I was I was very encouraged with uh, uh, Breeden and uh, and Berdeen. I thought they came in and really upped the tempo and um, you know they were aggressive. They were making steal. They were we were running our press, and it was it was way more aggressive than it was in the first half. Um, that was really encouraging. I thought Trinity played really well when he came on. And Priestley was a pretty good factor in the comeback. Was that a matter of just maybe his toughness matched up against the way St. Peter's plays a little bit? Well, I thought Mike. They were very physical, so I thought Priestley could give us something. You know, give us some physical play in there. I mean, they were a really physical team inside, and I mean, I thought Steve gave us some good minutes. He was in there when we were coming back. From a standing standpoint, is this kind of one that got away? I mean, you guys were tied going into this. Fairfield and I would have just both won tonight. Um, is this kind uh, of an important I, game for that, or is it too early to think about that? Sort of St. Thing? Peter's, Mike, is a good team. I mean, we got, we got to play really well to, to beat them here. They're, a, they're an upper echelon team. they got veterans. They got, you know, they're, they, we got to play our best game to beat them. I mean, they're, they're pretty good. Any other questions for me?